Now, Mr. President, on a totally different matter, last night was a difficult evening for Democrats. The Democratic Party has wildly misread their mandate and let the radical left run the country. Local Democrats let teachers' unions keep schools shut months longer than necessary and told parents they didn't get a say in what their kids are learning. Washington Democrats have supercharged inflation, recreated welfare without work requirements, and made America significantly less energy independent. President Biden was only given a 50-50 Senate and a tiny majority in the House, but he decided to let the radical left run the country. Citizens wanted a return to normalcy, but have gotten a never-ending series of government-created crises. So look, the American people will not stand for this. That's what voters told Democrats last night all across the country. The results from different parts of our country demonstrate that this was in large part a referendum on national issues. But it's not too late. Democrats should listen to the voters. Drop this reckless taxing and spending spree and stop trying to ram through a socialist transformation that the American people never asked for. The radical transformation that Democrats are writing behind closed doors would compound every mistake their party has made. Look at virtually any part of American families' lives, and Democrats' reckless taxing and spending spree would seize control of it and yank it way to the left. The same Democrats who don't want parents involved in schools want to take over daycare and pre-K, crowd out faith-based and family providers, and put this vast new system under the control of culture warrior HHS secretary who sued the Little Sisters of the Poor. The same Democrats who pretend to defend working families are dead set on a massive tax cut that would overwhelmingly benefit rich people in blue states. One of the biggest pieces of their signature bill is now a huge tax cut for rich people. The same Democrats who say they support science and medicine want to slap arbitrary price controls on America's prescription drugs, reducing future innovation, and according to experts, literally costing Americans their lives who would have lived if not for this policy. The same Democrats who pretend they care about Social Security and Medicare want to stretch seniors' existing Medicare program even thinner, even though the trust fund is already just a few years away from running dry, they would do this in order to fund new giveaways. The same Democrats who talk a big game about competing with China wanted to raise taxes so high that our own American industries would face a higher tax rate than businesses have to pay in communist China. The same Democrats who are still trying to sneak forms of amnesty into this bill also want to make illegal immigrants eligible for new welfare. The same Democrats who pretend they are forward thinking on energy issues want to hammer the U.S. economy with painful regulations while bigger emitters like China just keep on emitting. Maximum pain for American families and no measurable gain for emissions or the climate. The bill our colleagues are writing behind closed doors is terrible from top to bottom. More debt, more taxes, and more inflation. Fewer options for American families. This reckless taxing and spending spree would hurt families and help China. This radical social takeover is the last thing Americans need and the last thing Americans want. The voters of America, just yesterday, gave our colleagues a preview of that fact last night. It's not too late. They could still pull back from the brink while they can.